Guys, I just wanted to pause and show you this bike. Look at that. It's another yellow Suzuki. Yeah, Suzuki's little brother. It looks amazing. Doesn't even have a number plate. <laughs> I think this is a rental. I think it's dripping some oil. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely dripping oil. The chain guard looks just like ours. Yeah, haven't changed. Good morning world. Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Osh in Kyrgyzstan. And today is a super exciting day because we are crossing another border. Today we are going to be crossing the border into country number 29 on our journey around the world, Uzbekistan. The city of Osh is actually very, very close to the Uzbekistan border. It's estimated to be up to 3,000 years old and we're on the ancient Silk Road. So it was a pretty cool place to spend the night and yesterday we had an amazing exploration of a 2,000 year old bazaar in the center of the city. This one here is a sheep's tail. Pretty crazy. The route we're gonna be taking today is also following the ancient Silk Road backwards towards Europe. So let me show you guys where we're headed. So we are down here and today we're gonna to be crossing the border over to Uzbekistan and following this road towards the city of Kokand. If all goes well at the border, we should be arriving at the city of Kokand this afternoon. I'm excited. You can just imagine that along these, maybe not this road, I don't know if they had tarmac <laughs> thousands of years ago, but along this way, people have been bringing goods back and forth all the way from China and all the way from Europe. It's pretty incredible really to be in a place with such an amazing and rich history. So anyway, it's just a short ride to the border just 11 minutes and we are very good on time you have to see your live <laughs> it's already eight o'clock so better hit the road let's go you go think we there. have to hide the drones or no, put them in a I different place i don't think so somebody said on the uh, comments uh-huh they said oh hide the drones or something like this why i don't know why so i was sort of in my mind like hmm should we actually move the drones i think it's probably fine All right, I think we're getting pretty close now. We've got a whole line of trucks, standard border. Oh, wow, it's like right in front of us, I think. Oh, okay. We're gonna try to skip ahead as much as possible. All right, we'll just carry on straight for now. All right. Yeah, right I think here. this is pretty much the very front. And okay. it looks like they've got the same system like Kazakhstan, Russia, uh, where yeah. they sort of open the gates, let a bunch of people through and then close them again. Okay. Maybe let's just turn off the cameras. Yeah. Two hours later. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so we are back in Kyrgyzstan. I wish I could have recorded some of that, but that would have made the situation much worse than it was, which was pretty bad already. So yeah. we had a few hiccups. The first hiccup was that trying to exit Kyrgyzstan, they wanted our temporary import permit from when we came into Kyrgyzstan. But we forgot to get it or they didn't give it to us. When we came into Kyrgyzstan from Kazakhstan, I asked them at the border, I said, okay, anything else? Do I need any document, anything? No, 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 go, 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 no problem, no problem. But apparently they were supposed to have given us a temporary import permit. And the guy was like, you can't leave Kyrgyzstan unless you give us this piece of paper. Yeah, and he was really strict. He was like, no, if you don't have a physical paper, you have to return, go back to um, Kazakhstan and 
whatever. So for a little while we were there and we had no idea what to do. Um, but then he started mentioning to us, oh, did you get a paper from Russia? Did you get a paper from any country to prove, you know, that this bike is, is coming in? Then we remembered that we sent a WhatsApp of our Russian import permit to Yuri back in Vladivostok. So we just met up with Yuri and look what he has for us. <laughs> So that temporary import permit that we got in Vladivostok, we had a picture of it. So I showed him the picture and he's saying at first, no, 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 physical copy. But then we said, oh, can't we email it to you? WhatsApp? And his colleagues were there and they were like, Ugh. We are so lucky that actually the colleagues were there and they saw it and they saw us. So they were like, yes, just send it, you know? Like. Yeah, yeah. So then the guy said to us, okay, if you WhatsApp me those pictures, you're allowed to exit Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. So we WhatsApped him the pictures and everything was fine. But then you guys must be wondering, why are we back in Kyrgyzstan? <laughs> well, that wasn't the biggest issue. Yeah. The biggest issue was that when we were coming into Uzbekistan, everything was fine. We got the passport stamped. We got the temporary import permit for Bumblebee. And we thought we were home free and ready to go until they did an inspection of Bumblebee. Yeah. He came around, looking around the bike, and he said to me, you have drone? And I looked him in the eye and said, no, no drone, because that's just my standard response. Whenever they ask me about drones, I always say no drone, because it's always good to just say no. And then he looked in everything we had, and of course, what did he find? He found our two drones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. drone, oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> kind of like this, you know? Apparently drones are illegal in Uzbekistan. Yeah. They looked at us, they say, if you take the drone inside, they will arrest you. Yeah, so they said, you have two choices. You can either, we, we literally smash up your drones, like that's it, they're gone, mm -hmm. or return to Kyrgyzstan and figure something out with them there, send yeah. them or do something different. So yeah. that's what we did. We've turned around, yeah. we're coming back towards Osh, we've re-entered Kyrgyzstan. This time we've got a temporary import permit on our way in, uh -huh. which is gonna save us a lot of hassle when we have to exit again. So we're gonna head back to Osh now and uh, try and figure out what we're going to do about these drones because we can't go through Uzbekistan with these drones. Yeah, massive bummer. Yeah, we were like so there. We had the mm. temporary input permit. We had our passport stamped. Officially, we have entered and been into Uzbekistan. Yeah. Even if it was only for about half an hour. We shipped our drones twice already, once over yeah. Nicaragua, once over Russia, uh -huh. just to avoid any bad situations. Yeah. And now the third time we yeah. run into trouble with these drones yeah. and we can't go into Uzbekistan with them. Yeah. So the time is now 11 o'clock. So it's basically taken us the whole morning to get all that done. So yeah, we'll have a think about it and see what we can do. Lachman, thank Lachman. you. So we found ourselves a nice place to have some more lachman, which is basically noodles with vegetables and a little bit of meat. So we're gonna eat this and then decide what to do. Mm. This is like the longest noodle ever. Bye bye. <laughs> Another awesome Lachman lunch. This was pretty much the only option. Yeah, they basically just had one big pot with meat and veg, and then they just give you a portion of noodles with that. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's it, that's your option yeah. basically. But anyway, I had a little think about what we're planning to do. So the original plan was to go to Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan, and cross the border back into Kazakhstan and go up to the city of Shymkent or Shimkent. But we realized actually that where we are right now in Osh, we can actually ride back up through Kyrgyzstan and cross the border in the northwest and basically that puts us just in front of the same city Shymkent. Yeah and this meant that we can skip uh, Uzbekistan completely which is a little bit of a shame but I really don't want to send the drones again. We don't know where to send the drones to. And then you've got the, the cost of sending, which is probably another $100, $150. And then you've got the issue of when you want to pick them up. Most of the time, they want you to pay some sort of customs duty, import tax. There are always so many processes you have to go through. It's always such a hassle. I yeah. mean, we've sent the drones twice already on this trip. Basically, it was a choice between send the drones for a third time yeah. or just go around 
around Uzbekistan. Yes, exactly. And it's like, actually, yeah, I really like Kyrgyzstan. I like the people. So why not spending a few more days here in Kyrgyzstan? Yeah, and the good thing is, once we get to Jalalabad, we're going a completely different way than the way we came. So we don't have to backtrack too far uh -huh. to basically make progress. Yeah. We're going a couple of hours back to Jalalabad. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it's all onwards and yeah. towards the border to uh, Kazakhstan. Yeah. So sorry, Uzbekistan. You'll have to be on the next trip. Yeah, without drones. Without drones. <laughs> A whole bunch of horses going down the road. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, that must be really distressing for them. Look oh. how much traffic there is. Wow. Okay, we have to turn here. Yep. Thirty-seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine point nine. We just hit. 38,000 miles on the road! Jalalabad again. Nice to be back. <laughs> nice to be back. <laughs> well at least we had a nice trip down to Osh didn't we? Yes as well and to meet the guys from the Uzbekistan border you know with a few chats. Yeah we got some passport stamps for no reason. Yeah. So all in all a nice little detour. For sure. So now we're gonna go and stay at the same place that we stayed in Jalalabad two days ago. Yeah I really hope that the room we stayed at is still available. Yeah, it was a nice one. It was a nice room, yes. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's one bank. That'd be good enough, eh? Any bank will do. Any bank will do. <laughs> We've just stopped in the center of Jalalabad. Now that we're staying more days in Kyrgyzstan, we need to get some Kyrgyz Som, some local currency. Because a lot of the places that we've been staying don't take card. Just like the one we're going to stay tonight. So spent all our cash as usual, ready to leave the country. And now we need more. Okay, cash mission successful. Well, that took ages. Yeah, I really don't know. It's probably payday or something. But I was in the queue and in front of me probably 30 people. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was really busy. I was thinking to go to a different bank, but I didn't know which bank. And I was like, okay, no, we'll just wait here. It's 35 degrees. Oh my God, I can feel my head. It's so boiling hot. Yeah, I was basically just standing in the sun the whole time. Like, where is Lavinia? Has she melted? Yeah, exactly. So it's 15 minutes over to the uh, accommodation that we stayed at a couple of days days ago so we're gonna head over there and then see if they've got space for us yeah please have a space please have a space please have a space for us well if you sing a song so nicely like that then they have to <laughs> Good evening guys, we made it, have been alive! <laughs> yes, it's nice to be back in Kyrgyzstan in the same room where we were before! Yes, I love this room! So we were just looking it up and apparently drones are definitely banned in Uzbekistan. Importing, selling, purchasing or operating a drone in Uzbekistan could result in a three year prison sentence. I think it's really nice of the guys that they kind of said Drones are banned, but if you guys want to turn around and just leave Uzbekistan very quickly, then you guys can go. Yeah, I'm so happy that they were so kind. And anyway, the detour that we're going to be taking is pretty much the same distance as going through Uzbekistan anyway. So it doesn't change too much with our trip. So that's good. Yes, we have just to organize now and see if we can find another garage somewhere in Kazakhstan, which can receive um, a new chain and new sprocket set for Bumblebee. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. 
video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time.